you have now tuned into Coach Ed's Read and Attack Sports Show, where Coach Ed gives you his perspective on the latest sports news from around the world. You will experience sports from the mind, heart, and soul of a veteran coach. Watch Coach dissect, expand, and give you insight like no other with passion and vicarious sports knowledge that will leave you coming back for more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode of Coach Ed's Read and Attack Sports Show. Now with your host Coach Ed. Please like and subscribe and also turn on the notifications. All right, everyone. Uh, thanks. This is another special interview uh, with uh, Coach Ed for Coach Ed's Reading the Tag Sports Show. Uh, on with me today is Big Pat from Big Pat Sports. Uh, he's a YouTuber and he does very well out there, so he uh, knows his stuff. So it's an honor and a privilege to have him join the show. How are you doing today, Pat? Man, doing great, doing great, Coach. What's going on? No, just, you know, out here just bringing the fans and everyone that good reading and attack uh, type of sports news. So, um, but let's let's get right into it. Um, I've been knowing you for some time now, and you have a great knowledge of sports, especially football. How did you become so knowledgeable with sports, especially with football? Uh, it was through my uncle, man, my Uncle Phil, man. He taught all his nephews uh, about the game of football, about the game of sports, the game of basketball. And most of us who know we get our sports mm-hmm. fix because of our because of our uncle, man. He was a huge Bears fan. He was a huge Cubs fan. I'm mm-hmm. um, glad he got to see the Cubs win the World Series before he passed away. But Uncle oh. Phil, man, Uncle Phil had us watching sports and playing in sports at a very young age. Oh, okay. That's good. I mean, we all have a mentor somewhere along the line, so I can definitely understand that. Um, what are your favorite sports, and how long have you been a fan of those sports? Uh, my favorite sports are uh, football and basketball. I've been a fan of both of those sports my whole life, man. Uh, since I was about three, four years old, I've been watching football. I've been mm-hmm. watching the Giants since I was about three, four years old. Been watching the Bulls since I was about three, four years old. As you know, we grew up during the Jordan era, uh, so mm-hmm. everybody. We was in mm-hmm. Chicago. Everybody was Bulls fans. Pippen, Jordan, <laughs> Grant, Cartwright, all those mm-hmm. guys, man. Mm-hmm. Best era uh, in basketball, and it's not even close. <laughs> I, I can understand that. Um, so I guess you're a fan. You're a fan of both the the Giants and the Bulls. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Any other teams that you're a fan of? Uh, I'm a fan of the Dallas Mavericks, fan of the Cubs. Um, mm. Pretty much I don't get into too many more sports after that. Mm-hmm. So okay. I, I'm, I'm a fan of those guys. I got you. You know, most of the basic big three big, or three of the big four. So I, I understand. Mm-hmm. Um, did you play any sports? at all i mean i know you said when you were younger but you know did you play did you progress youth football or high school college or anything yep play youth football play football in middle school play football high school play basketball in middle and elementary up to high school so i played both football and basketball okay uh what were the positions that you played in in those sports uh football i played defensive tackle and uh defensive end I uh, played tight end in emergency situations, and I played fullback. Um, in basketball, you know, I was short, so I had to play uh, power four, but we used basketball to train for football. So, Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, and, and high school was as far as you went, you said, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever coach a sport or an individual player, you know, you know, take that player and help develop them? Uh, as far as like coaching, I coached a uh, little football, like a little youth team for like a year or two. Uh, we actually did pretty well. Uh, that's when I started uh, falling in love and scheming up plays. Uh, mm-hmm. Coach Biddy mm-hmm. Ball as well. You know, Biddy mm-hmm. Ball is like the the basketball little all star team. So I coached mm-hmm. him. Um, yeah, but 
coaching that little youth football team when I was like 17 years old. Uh, it was just something to keep us out of trouble. So I had I got up with a coach, and I was pretty much the defensive like a defensive assistant. And mm -hmm. I started coming up with schemes and plays for offense and defense, and that's why I fell in love and creating plays and watching film and things. It's pretty dope. Man, you 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 really are following in my footsteps. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you I, 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 I be bald. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I started coaching at, at 14, so I understand exactly where you're coming from. And, and I did start on the defensive side first, so I, I get where you're coming from. So, you know, have you ever thought about, you know, taking that further, you know, maybe getting into it really full bore um, in terms of coaching? Uh, no, I'll say this. I actually could if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And I have to toot my own horn, but I do believe if I was – given the opportunity to coach, I think I would pretty be a pretty good coach because I, I pay really good attention to detail. Mm -hmm. um, I love scheming up plays. I love scheming up defenses. And I just take it as a challenge. I take football like the game of chess. I don't know if mm -hmm. you play chess, but it's nothing mm -hmm. but a chess match to me. But if I actually had the opportunity to do it, I think I would do pretty well. And I love the scout. So, Either, either one of those, to be a scout, to bring talent to the team or coach the team, I think I'd be able to do both. And that's why I believe I would be a pretty good coach if given the opportunity. Well, I just want to let the audience know, I mean, I've had uh, many discussions. We've been on many different streams, um, just sitting down, talking ball. And I can attest, this man knows the game inside and out, and he's very well versed at it. So. Um, I, I strongly believe he would be a, a, a phenomenal uh, coach if he ever had the opportunity. So, you know, you know, I, I, I'll support you 1000 percent that on, in reference to that. So mm -hmm. um, in terms of sports, what other experiences do you have like management? You know, you talked a little bit about scouting an agent, you know, broadcasting. What do you have any other experiences? Uh, yes, I do have uh, commentating and broad, uh, broadcasting experience. I actually call uh, some, our semi-pro team here in Louisiana, Shreveport, Louisiana, the Shreveport Mavericks. I have a little bit of that on a little bit of that on my channel, so I have some broadcast experience. I have a passion for that as well, and also I'm actually uh, in the process of uh, getting my license to become a scout. So, uh, with work with Team Up Sports, uh, we have currently one athlete in the NFL. He was an All-Pro, Kevante Turpin. Mm -hmm. uh, for the mm -hmm. Dallas Cowboys of all teams, but he was an all-pro and was a kick returner, <laughs> punt returner for them this year. So I have a little bit of experience in those areas. We're, we're just working towards my dream, man. Do you enjoy broadcasting? Oh, I love it. Uh, I call the games uh, every Sunday for the Giants. I love it. Uh, it's one of my passions as well. Like sports is my passion, period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I definitely, I, you know, Definitely appreciate that. I mean, I see that I hear just talking to you, like I said, um, you know, the, the passion that you have in terms of this, the world of sports. So um, and even you you've even taught this old dog a few little things. So, you know, I, I definitely appreciate that. Um, with the talent that you've seen, um, do you feel that um, it was to, uh, Turpin, correct? Mm -hmm. the do you feel that he has the ability to grow further than just a a, a, a returner um, in other words do you think he could be a top level receiver because i know he was in the usfl he was one of the top receivers so do you think he has the ability to be that type of receiver in the nfl uh, well, Kevante turpin i believe he has the ability to be one of the better weapons in the nfl period Mm -hmm. um, if you if he's given the opportunity, especially in the slot, uh, he's very quick, quick and crisp in his route running, and he has a speed that can't be taught, like McCole Harmon and the Tyreek Hill. Mm -hmm. He has that type of potential as far as a speed element. Get him the ball in space and watch him work. Um, he definitely could take the top off the defense if you give him a chance. Um, only thing, only knock on, on, on Kevante Turpin is that he's only like 5'9", 168 to 170 pounds, but hey, Deshaun Jackson was around that same height and around that same weight. And you can't, you can't teach speed, you can't coach speed. 
So when you get the ball in his hands, he can be very electric. Get him the ball on the receiver screen. Get him the ball on the jet sweep. Get him the ball across the middle on one of those drags and let him take that drag five from five yards to 50 yards if you allow him to. Let him take the top off the defense. I would love to see Dallas work him into, you know, their passing game this year. Um, mm-hmm. You know, they got Michael Gallup. You know, they got C.D. Lamb. They just traded for Brandon Cooks. But um, he, he's a hard worker, man. He's humble. He's a hard worker. He keeps his head down. He's training right now. So uh, I want to see him in some four receiver sets or get him in a slot and let C.D. go, go outside sometimes. Mm-hmm. And just get him into the game, man. He's more than just a kick returner. Punt return. You see that he was just got spot duty at that. And he was an all pro at that. So mm-hmm. why not give him a chance on the field? I see him as a fifty to sixty catch guy, getting you a thousand yards in the season with about five to six to seven touchdowns. If you really give him a chance out there and let him be the dual threat that he is, you give him the ball out the backfield, give it to him in the slot, let him take the top off the defense, run those seam routes, let him run some post corners, let him do a post in the middle of the field. Allow him to be a weapon, and he's going to keep eyes on him because you have no choice with that level of speed. Excellent, excellent, excellent uh, breakdown of uh, Turpin. Uh, what about with your with the Shreveport Mavericks? I mean, are there any guys that you feel can make it to the NBA from uh, that team? Yes, there is one guy on that team that I truly believe if he actually – pursued it and put his all into it. His name is Paul Parks. Uh, mm-hmm. Look up Paul Parks from the Streetport Mavericks. That dude can shoot. He's strong. Uh, yeah, he, man, he has a limited clip, man. I'm telling you, that dude can shoot from anywhere on the court. And when he gets hot, he's one of the hottest players in the TBL right now. And I just called the game today, as a matter of fact, and the man scored 18 straight points for the Mavericks tonight uh, in a wow. victory over uh, the uh, Little Rock Lightning tonight, man. He had 32 points, and in the start of the second half, he scored 18 points straight for the Streetport Mavericks tonight, man. And Paul Parks could really, really do some damage. And I mean, there's 10 guys, there's 10 guys to each team, or 11 guys to each team. I'm quite sure he could be one of those guys. And he can come off the bench for a team and give you some quality minutes, give you some spot up threes. Find him wide open in the corner. He can take the ball. He can drive it. Whatever you need him to do, he can do it. All he needs is an opportunity, and that's for a lot of athletes out here. Wow, that, that's impressive. Eighteen straight points. Yeah, I mean, you don't. Mm-hmm. I mean, very rarely do you see that in the NBA. So, I mean, that 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 tells me he's a definite scorer, even at any level. You you know, to score eighteen straight points. That's 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 a ball right there. Wow. Yeah, he, um, he was on fire tonight. What's what's his season average? Do you do you know uh, that? See, his season average is twenty seven. Mm, okay, yeah, I'll definitely be looking out for him. So thanks about that. Um, do you have any other long term goals in terms of broadcasting, or is just you just want to work a little bit with the Mavericks and then you know go back go ahead into scouting? The ultimate goal with broadcasting is actually to be live in Midlight Field calling the games for the <laughs> That would be the ultimate goal. There you go. There you go. I and I could do that job. I see him do it. I was like, man, I could do that all day, bro. Yeah, no, I understand. That That would be a phenomenal job to be there, mm-hmm. you know, watching the game and, and broadcasting it. So. All right, now I, you know, we we talked a little bit about your um, YouTube. Uh, you also just started a, a a podcasting program. How did you get involved with with those uh, those um, social media uh, uh, elements? I had just I had a thought, man, that there's plenty of guys like me out here that don't get a chance to voice their opinions about the team that they love, like the New York Giants or whoever their team is. And to be honest with you, I got into it because I wanted to give guys like us a voice out here Mm -hmm. on YouTube. We have a lot of information that uh, we can get out to a lot of people, and that's why I formed the Big Blue Crew. Um, It gave people like us the opportunity to, you know, express how we feel about our team, and it it took off. I'm over 3,000 subscribers now. 
you know, lose over a thousand. We're gonna get you to a thousand here very soon. So mm -hmm. that's why I formed a big blue crew, man. We bring an element to this YouTube game that not many other people can do, like any other people can do, man. We got film breakdowns. We got Heart of the City with unpopular opinion. We got mm -hmm. boxing. We got Lou uh, with the offensive lineman. He, he spits a lot of knowledge, man. We got so many elements to this big blue crew. Uh, we got you covered. Everything with the New York Giants, man. And we just have opinions. We have opinions that a lot of people bash us for, but guess what happened? It turned out that we was right. <laughs> so, it is, I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, uh, Big Blue Crew, I'm proud to have you part of the Big Blue Crew. You, you know, you you big aunt, you know, big coach, <laughs> big aunt of the group, man, you know. And I, I appreciate you, everything that you've done as far as support towards the Big Blue Crew. And me in general, man, I do appreciate that, bro. Well, I feel the same way. You know that I appreciate each and every last one of y'all for welcoming me in and helping me along this way. Because you know, this isn't this is a different venture for me. You know, mm -hmm. sideline X's and O's. Yeah, that's easy. You know, this is this is this, this definitely new for an old dog like me. So now, yep. with with, <laughs> with your with your YouTubing and podcasting, do you find this rewarding? Uh, yeah, I find it very rewarding, man. With people. Uh, like to though, come and support your channel and give donations and tell you how much they enjoy uh, your content. A lot of people may be one of the best content, Giants content creators out there in the comments. I mean, it's very rewarding, man. It, it, you know how cool it is to be, you know, to monetize your thoughts? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Never would I have thought that I'd be able to monetize my thoughts about how I talk about football or the Giants. And a lot of people would be willing to listen to what I have to say. And so mm -hmm. it's dope, man. That's why I continue to do it, man. It's, it's driving us. It's, it, it's just what I, what I, what I can say is it's not momentum, but, man, it's like motivation, you know, mm -hmm. to go out there mm -hmm. and fulfill my dreams as a scout, fulfill my dreams as a commentator, you know, get it to some coaching. If I could get it to some coaching, I would love to coach another youth team or, or a high school team, you know, even a pro or college team, man. I'm not going to short you know, short myself, you know, give me a chance. I promise you, I'll come up with some schemes for you, especially when I can bring the talent to the team because I know how to scout. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's dope, man. I just love the world of sports. Just love it. That's a beautiful thing, man. Um, that's a beautiful thing. And, I mean, I, I love your passion. I love hearing your passion and, you know, seeing, you know, how you, you work and what you bring to the table. So, um, now – you have been a mentor to, you know, a mentor to me in this world right here, you know, YouTube. I mean, do you, how many others have you mentored and um, how far do you, I don't want to say push them, but guide them, you know, on their pathway? Um, man, when I think about it, I've mentored a lot of people. I mean, uh, man, there's it's dozens out there that I'm that I've mentored, but I, I've never really considered a mentorship, man. It was just about giving you guys a voice, man. You guys got passion, mm -hmm. and so when, I, when we create my platform, I wanted all of us to speak. Um, it's not a mentor; it's just more of, more of a friendship type thing, man. Like mm -hmm. I'm there for you if you if you need an idea, let's come up with an idea. If you you feel you need a little motivation to create some content I'm, I'm here for you man i got ideas man you can do this or you can do that it just comes natural to me man i'm <laughs> i'm not trying to yeah i'm not trying to gain anything from you if anything i want to see you succeed that's i love seeing people succeed man i don't know how you can go through life and want people to fail because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing man what you succeed in, that's motivation for me. And when I'm succeeding, that's motivation for you. And so let's put our heads together and let's get it, man. You see, that it is being a mentor, man. This is, and I mean that in a positive way, but I understand what you mean. Because you're, you're humble, so I, I get it. I get it. So, But, you know, you are that, that motivating force and that guiding force to help others to grow. So I, I can attest to it. So, But now I've talked about your shows, you know, What's the title of your show, and how can people find your show? Uh, the title of my show uh, on YouTube 
It's, it's called New York Giants Full Access. You can type that in. You can find me. Big Pass Sports Talk. You can type that in on YouTube and find me. But Big Pass Sports Talk on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Rumble, Patreon to come soon. I'm going to be doing a lot of film reviews on Patreon. You already know I got some things mm-hmm. set up for both of us mm-hmm. to do some great film reviews on Patreon. But you type in Big Pass Sports Talk or look up New York Giants for access, and I'll be right there. You see my face the whole time, you know. So. <laughs> okay. Um, now, if anyone's looking to connect with you, maybe just as a fan or even through business opportunities, how can they reach you? I mean, is it through email? Is it is it just through social media? Is it calling you? I mean, what's the best way or how can they reach you? Man, like I said, you're part of Big Blue Crew. You know, you can always pick up the phone and call mm-hmm, me. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. if you, you want to get in contact with me about doing a collaboration or anything, a lot of people reach to, to me uh, on Twitter at Big Pat Sports uh, Talk. Um, and if you do, uh, as far as like business, business, like opportunities, as far as sponsorships and everything, you do mm-hmm. contact me through Twitter and you can contact me by email as well at D A K I D dot P W at gmail.com. Um, uh, big passports talk with big blue crew. We are in the process of looking for sponsors. So we've been working hard, man. And like I said, we're going to fulfill our dream. We're going to reach those goals, man. Uh, that's a beautiful thing. So, um, is there anything else you want the audience to know about you or your platform? Uh, just about me, man. Like I said, I'm humble. Check out the content. If you like the content, hit that like and subscribe button. Mm-hmm. If you want to join the Big Blue Crew, hit that Big Blue Join button. Talk you talk with Big Pass Sports Talk. I'm here to talk Giants. I'm here to talk football. Let's talk ball, man. If you, if you do want to challenge me, Keep up with the challenge. Don't back out. <laughs> you know, you want to exactly. talk some football, you want to talk schemes and concepts, man, the Big Blue Crew is here for you. And I definitely want to hear what you got to say because people's voices are are important, man. And sometimes when you think you don't have anything important to say, just say it. It might turn out to be the most important part of the conversation. Amen. 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 So. Well, um, that's going to be it for today's episode, this interview. Uh, Pat, I thank you for coming in today and doing it uh, for for everyone. Um, it's been a phenomenal interview. Uh, thank you. Um, and everyone, you know what I always say. In sports, make sure you turn it on and turn it up. Yes, sir. Turn it on. Five, four, three. Two, one. Shadow Walls Radio presents Hochet's Read and Attack Sports Talk Show. This is the Read and Attack Show. This is a sports show where I dive into sports all across the world. This is the Read and Attack Sports Talk Show. I'm going to give you my perspective of Hochet's Read and Attack Show. Talk show. Talk show. I'm gonna attack it just like I would as a coach. Read and attack. Read and attack. Read and attack. Read and attack. Talk show. I'm gonna attack it just like I would as a coach. Coaches, read and attack. Read and attack. Read and attack. I'm gonna give you my perspective. This is the read and attack sports talk show. Thank you all for you know tuning in today. Read and attack. This is a sports show where I dive into sports all across the world. Read and attack. 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 Read and attack.